Hello everyone, it is Cyber99 here, back on the world of Creator's Inventory. Um, yeah, about the Shulker Farm that I was talking about, um, apparently I didn't troubleshoot it enough, so it's making me do more, but it will be out very, very soon. I'm just flushing out the design at the moment, so you will get your Shulkers in a little bit. But yeah, we're back here in front of our aqueduct in the tower, because I'm going to finish the tower today, and by finish, I mean I hope to finish the exterior and get the interior. Um, uh, another thing I managed to do is, um, I managed to get world edit. I managed to get that done. So, yeah, um, the one thing I wasn't able to get because I moved to 1.17 is the replay mod, so you're gonna get stuck with another choppy time lapse. I know, I don't like them either, but ho hopefully I'll be able to get that soon. But, we're gonna finish this tower build. And um, by finish, I think I'm also going to do the interior, which means more block out. I think the interior is going to have a more dark oak kind of vibe, because as you can see, we have a lot of spruce, and that can transfer really, really well into dark oak, like with the door and stuff. But yeah, we are going to make the um, we're gonna make the rest of the exterior, and then the world work on the interior. And I think world edit may be able to help, though I am not sure, and nor should I say anything. But one thing I wanted to do real quick, as you'll see right now, is get a wand. And just real quick, we are going to copy this block palette and move it. Because it is not in an ideal location, unfortunately. So, slash slash copy, not calc. Copy. And I think we'll just... Where, where, where do I not... Okay, yeah. So we're going to move it... Yeah, I think right down here. It couldn't hurt, could it? So we're just going to move it right here. Slash, slash, paste. Oh. Um, apparently it did not copy my blocks. Uh, one moment, please. Oh. Well, um, I guess this works. I mean... Yeah, I just hollow it out, and then, boom, there's the block palette. So, we have managed to move our block palette into a mountain, which is kind of problematic, but it's not the worst thing that could have happened. I mean, it could have completely broke the, the other one, which very well could have happened. But, here was the block palette that we used for the front exterior of the tower. I am going to, right now I think, add the glass and all the other stuff that I decided to do. Then we'll get the interior block palette worked out and see how that goes. But for now, I do believe, yeah, so we're going to find all the other blocks that I used in this build. I'm not even sure. I think it was just the glass and the door. However, I may be wrong, but... We're going to assume this was it, and where, where is it? Okay, there we go. We're going to assume this was all I added, and we're going to put it right here. I mean, what harm could it do? Okay. So, there's the rest of the exterior blocks. So, now, I think we need to work on more of the interior, which is going to be, like I said, heavily more on dark oak. So, I'm thinking all the dark oak plank variants... Uh, what, ooh, spelled dark wrong. Hehe. <laughs> yes, so I think we're gonna work mainly with the stripped logs, um, and the blocks themselves, like the stairs, slabs, and sprut dark oak blocks. And then, uh, what else could we use that would look real, real good? Mmm. Uh, mmm. I don't know. I think we're good with with that. And so now we just put this all down in a respectable order. 
Okay, so now we just have the little Dark Oak variants here, the door, stuff like that. But we are not going to use any of them just yet, because we still need to finish the um, sides and back of the tower itself. How'd you get in the aqueduct, Fox? You're gonna want to get out. Just saying that right now. You're, you're gonna want to move. I mean, I, yeah, there we go. Run free. So yeah, I'm not sure how much I bit off to chew, but I hope it wasn't too much. And I think we'll actually start from the top going down this time. So, let's gather the blocks we need and get into the hopefully shorter time lapse than the last one. Okay, everybody, welcome back from that, um, longer time lapse than I would have liked. But, we have completed all four sides of the tower, and in true cyber fashion, I have managed to add blocks to, to the, um, to the block palette somehow. I managed to add more blocks. 
So what I added were these glass plant panes because they worked better when I used the walls. Um, I also added iron bars, chains, and uh, not that. And I also added a bell. So now we've got three new items that I added. Ugh, I can't believe I added more. This build was already big enough. But now that we place everything down like so, this should be the entire block palette. Now, we should be able to get, yeah, I have time. We should be able to get started on the interior, which as you can see, is still completely empty. I plan for this to have just really a single floor and then like a nice spiral staircase up and into this little attic area where we'll put like a study or something, but oops. But yeah, we're gonna take these supports out because they're not really needed. And I think we can get working on the inside now. Um, it's Cyber here, back on the inside. I actually see potential to put a second floor. Just not, not the attic, but... So you walk in, and you have the main floor, this will be like a sitting room, I'll add some sort of fireplace, I think. But then right here, there's a very defined line that's high enough that I would like it. And there's windows, and I could add a second floor here that then leads into the spiral staircase that then leads into the attic. So I think I'll do that, and um, back to the time lapse, I guess. And okay, the interior is at least mostly done. There's definitely more that I could add, but this video is getting extremely long. So, as, as you can see by my inventory, I, I added a lot of things. Now, I am not going to include all of them in the block palette, only the new ones that I used a lot of. And that was mainly the deep slate varieties. Those really, really worked with my color palette because of the spruce, the dark oak, 
And when we transfer from Spruce to Dark Oak, the, you would assume that this uh, grayscale will get darker as well. And that's why Deep Slate. Boom. All of it. Including the walls. And then I had like a few... Um... I had like a few random little things in there as well, little flower pots and such, but those do not matter enough to be put in here, I don't think, <laughs> if you know what I mean. But there were like some trap doors and stuff, but I only used a couple of them, and I, exper I experimented with my world edit powers, but I could not figure out the right command somehow. And I had to do it by hand at the end anyway. So, that was fun. But yes, we're just going to fix this up a little bit to make it a bit more... Um, to make it a bit more appealing, I guess one could say. But, after this, that's all that we're going to have time for. I'll give you a quick tour just to recap what I was able to do. And then we can get a move on out of this episode, I guess. Okay, so directly once you enter the house, you're met with this grand fireplace and library section with a reading nook and, I guess, a viewable window area. Then you head right up on stairs to the bedroom where we have our bed with a little bedside bonsai. I liked that. That was, that was cool and a lectern, and then we have the spiral staircase to the top. Once you get up this ladder, you just come up the staircase, and, oh, I, I fell. Well, um, that's fun. Okay, you just have a walk, oh my goodness, um, one moment. Once you've had a nice long walk, you enter the attic, which is empty, because, um, I couldn't figure out what to add in the time that I had, but, we're going to head outside for the outro, and of course, hashtag name the dog, everyone, hashtag name the dog. I got one new request, one new request, and I think that's the one I'm going to use unless we get more. So comment down below, and I will wait seven days, and if seven days passes and there's no comment that I like more, then the name of the dog will be revealed, hopefully in my shulker video though that might not happen, but thank you all for watching everyone. This major, major building episode of the creator's inventory where I finished the tower and did the interior. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope you comment down below again, hashtag name the dog, do it. Thank you for watching, this is Cyber99 saying Goodbye.